Hello everyone, today we will delete one file that is important enough to run this Windows session. The file is called ntoskernel.exe. You might be familiar with it. It is the Windows kernel file. It handles everything. So let's go to Windows Explorer. And to see it, you need to go to View, File Name Extensions, Hidden Items, you need to check those. And in the Folder Options, you also need to uncheck Hide Protected Operating System Files to see how much damage we, we are doing. Let's go to System32 because Windows Kernel is there. You need to go all the way up to NTOS Kernel. If you try, try to delete it normally, you need administrator privileges but you require permission from trusted installer i will will take its ownership so i can delete this file i'm not going to to show how to do this this because it's a little bit a complicated thing and I don't wa want to you ha know how to prank your friends by ruining the their computer now I will do Deny the permissions for for system and I will allow full control to the user and say it can use security will get hacked and then we shift delete it goes away and literally nothing happens. It's not in use while Windows is running. But, if we try to restart, it says preparing automatic repair. It says that we succeeded and it says diagnosing your PC because we deleted the operating system privileges specific to the computer it will take a long time to boot i will wait because i won't cut the video it says automatic repair couldn't repair your pc we will try to To use resetting the PC, remove everything, local reinstall. Just remove my files. I don't want to. To delete the entire drive because it can and cause damage to my computer itself it's just a virtual machine it's a hyper-v make sure your device is plugged in this can't be undone remove all personal files and accounts in this device remove any changes made to settings remove all lives and programs that didn't come with this pc
This Windows installation is destroyed. Goodbye.